up, Modern Salon? If you don't recognize me under my face covering, it's me, Ammon Carver, one of the global creative directors for Lanza Healing Hair Care. And I am thrilled because this is the first live I've been able to do since being out of the business. So I'm not working on a mannequin. I'm working with an actual guest. I'm so glad to be here with her. And today, I want to share with you something that I've been on a two year journey to get better and better at textured hair. I'm obsessed with textured hair and I want to share with you the things that I've learned about some foundational styling. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to assess our guest's hair so we know the texture type. So I'm going to turn her around and I'm going to go ahead and go into her hair and check out and make sure that I am checking if there's different curl types, different curl patterns. And I can see from our curl key that we have that she's a 4B or 4C. So she's got a nice amount of curl to it. Now, the next step that I wanna do is I wanna go through, and before we just go through and shampoo, I wanna do a little pre-detangle. And what I mean by that is you can either use a pick or just your fingers and just take a little bit of our keratin healing oil for a little bit of slippage and take very large sections starting from the ends and just work your way gently and start to pre-detangle before we even get to the shampoo bowl. So this oil is nice and lightweight and it's gonna rinse out really, really easily, but it's also gonna give me, give me the slip that I need so that when I wet this hair, it doesn't wanna mat up and then I'm not working against myself. I'm setting myself up for success and intention right from the beginning. So you can see, I'm just working big sections, not taking a lot of time, and just making sure that there's nothing in here that's got too much tangling. Now, here's a little trick. If you have a tangle, work your way from the ends and then get your way to the roots before you just pull all the way from the roots. And just begin to separate and work your way all the way through the head. This helps you to also evaluate any like irregular curl formations. Many people with textured hair have lots of different curl patterns and curl types. And what I love is today, she and I spoke about doing a fun, uh, uh, a, a fun uh, blowout twist or a stretch and then a twist out set. So we'll be able to do something that and utilize her natural texture without using an iron or out using gel and wet look, but using her natural texture to make her hair appear longer and use that twist out set as an element of design also. So I'll continue pre-detangling gently like this, letting that oil help me through there, earning my way to the roots, all the way to the scalp. This is gonna go a long way in helping me when we're set up for the actual shampoo itself. Everything you do with textured hair should be done with intention. So think about where you wanna go with it, what the end result is, and that will help you determine what products you wanna use and how you approach it. such wonderful hair. I'm getting so excited. So you can see just like that, I've gone through and I've done a very quick, very easy pre detangle that now is going to set me up to go to the shampoo basin and be able to give her a nice, nice nourishing shampoo using my absolute favorite this is Lanza's Keratin Healing Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. Ideal, perfect for this hair type. So let's go back and shampoo now. So 
what I do is I continue that detangling process through every step from the shampoo to the conditioner. I just work in sections and I keep encouraging just in case there's any other little detangled, uh, any other tangle spots in there. I'm constantly gently working them through so that they don't cause me more problem later and I don't like put stress on those ends that can sometimes be a little bit more fragile. sit up and the same way this is lustrous finishing conditioner and I gotta tell you guys hats off to all of you hairdressers out there that are wearing these face coverings and uh, doing hair all day because whoo I could relate right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply in the same way that I did my leave-in conditioner when I first detangled every step is to reinforce that detangling process. So just taking large sections first, getting the product applied on there, and then working my way through so that I make sure little by little from detangled prior to shampoo, detangled during shampoo, and detangle during condition, we're ensuring that any of those hairs that want to snag and prevent us from doing a nice, easy pre-stretch are all taken care of. These steps, while they seem like they take a second, they save you a long time in the future and they save her a lot of breakage, which is very important to her. She's got this amazing hair. We don't want to compromise it. Now here's a little trick. When I'm rinsing out conditioner in highly textured hair like hers, I don't have to rinse it till the water is 100% clear. I rinse it until it's clear, but just a tiny bit cloudy. So if you can watch closely, it's really cloudy at first down there. But leaving just a little bit of conditioner in there is gonna just, she's, her hair is gonna love it. It's gonna add for that moisture that she needs. I'm just gonna make sure that it's, I don't have any heavy pockets that's gonna, that are gonna get in my way. But I don't need to rinse it so, so thoroughly that I'm rinsing till the water is actually clear. So if you can see down in the basin, see how it's just got like a little bit of milkiness or a little bit of cloudiness. That's, that's good. Still making sure it's thoroughly rinsed, so no like giant pockets of, of conditioner, but it doesn't need to be completely, completely rinsed. That product is loving 
her hair and her hair is loving it and it will soak up the last little bit of it that I leave in there on its own. So very milky and cloudy at first, you can see in the bowl. And then little by little, as I rinse it, it gets a little more clear. And then just before it gets all the way clear and I have that just slight cloudiness, then I'm good. And then just to check, I'll just make sure that I don't have any spots that I see where I can tell conditioner has been left. They really need to be addressed. We're looking good. And it's time to do the pre-stretch. Right down here. A little bit more of our carrot oil. I'm gonna start from the end and work my way up just with my fingers again. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do what I call what I call a quick sectioning or quick detangling first. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take with my fingers into quadrants. In that quadrant, I'm going to keep a liberal amount of oil. And because of all that detangling that I've done, I can take just a paddle brush like this one and I can start detangling from ends. To roots. This is what we call earning our way to the roots. This is going to be our last step of just making sure that we don't have any tangles in these large sections. It should be, if you did your steps properly, as we worked up to this, fairly quick. You can see if I come from the roots and I get a sock stuck spot, I stop, start back at the ends and earn my way to the roots. Make sure the section doesn't feel too thick because I want to make sure everything in the interior is detangled. And then, just so this hair doesn't want to try to tangle back on me as I'm working, just gonna do a very quick, very simple, large twist for just quick sectioning to keep it under control. So just hand over hand twist so that it stays put and doesn't want to revert back to any kind of thing.
it's really important that the hair stays moist and I don't want to have to spray each section before I work through it. So what I've done is just like done here, I just re-wet those sections and then I use a shower cap for the remaining section to keep the hair damp as I'm working so that when I do this pre-stretch, I can go ahead and work through without having to keep stopping and re-wetting the hair. You can see, I take out the section that I need and then all I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be working again from ends to tips. So earning our way to the roots. Start on the end. see after we've done the pre-stretch there's still texture in the hair I was able to work through the hair really really quickly using that nozzle um, and by just working my way from ends all the way to the roots and I dried it with intention I dried it with the intention pushing the roots this way and then over directing the top forward because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of our curl defined cream and I'm going to do a twist out set which is a fun way for her to either leave the salon with these cool little twists and she can wear it for a few days, or you can pop her under the dryer and let her own natural texture set in and have it be an elongated version of her natural texture that she can wear that really celebrates her natural texture. So what I've done now is I'm gonna go ahead and with intention, do some twisting out on scalp twists through the front that'll let you watch and some that are just off the scalp. And I'll show you the difference as I'm working. So the first one, as you zoom in here, I'm gonna take a little tiny bit of this pro Define Cream on the palm of my hand. I have this section nice and clean out of my way. I'm gonna take a section at the top and I'm gonna roll these on scalp and towards her face. Now here's the trick with an on scalp twist out if you're not familiar with doing a twist out. Divide it in two. Twist the sections and cross twice to lock it in. And then I always remember whichever of the, of the sections is underneath is gonna be the section that I add to. So I take a section I add it to the section that's underneath. I twist them together and I cross. Take section, 
add it to the hairs underneath, twist them together, and cross. And this just becomes something that becomes like a rhythmic re repetition, just like any little detailed braiding. But in this case, I'm actually setting it for an elongated curl. And what this does, by doing it on scalp, I'm actually directing the hair, I'm maintaining that curl formation all the way to the scalp, and I'm pushing it and giving it a direction, an intention, so that when I undo it, it wants to fall in a certain direction. Twist them together, and then cross. And you'll be able to see if you've done it correctly because it'll look like a rope. Now I've gotten to the end of it. You can see my rope section there. I'll continue with my tension. And once I've gotten to the point where I'm finished with my section, I just continue with a regular rope twist. Making sure the twist, so that it doesn't just roll into itself, and so you get a beautiful curl separation. Adding the curl the fine cream as you get towards the ends where you need more hydration. More definition. I've never done a twist that with gloves on before. Always a new challenge. And then there's a couple things you can do here. So if you want a very natural look on the ends, or her curl is really, really nice all the way through those ends. You can see when we were drying it out, the curl stayed really nice. So I can just continue to twist, make sure I add more cream, and just do almost like a finger coil along the bottom that holds it into place. Just like that. Now, if you have hair that's got a little bit more of an irregular curl or some compromised ends, and you need to reinforce or give it a little bit more stabilized curl, you can also wrap those ends in a, a perm rod just while they're setting. So I'm gonna pivot from this top. So you can see here, these are my intentional sections coming forward. Curl the fine cream. Apply the entire section. Keep your work nice and clean. Remember, if you lose control of the hair, stop. Just stop, start again. Styles like these can be so rewarding because even though today I'm gonna show you a finished look where we take it all the way out, it's very cool and very appropriate and very of the now for a young girl like her to wear a twist out for a full week with these cool twists and then take it out a week later and rock that elongated curl texture. So don't think that you have to pre-stretch, twist out, set her under a dryer, then pull it out in order to give a nice valued service. A lot of the girls enjoy leaving with those twist outs. So underneath the section, twist them together and then cross and make sure you can see that it's making a rope. If you don't see that rope formation, it's not gonna give you the curl definition. Anytime you need a little extra hydration, just 
just going to put a little of this coat of fine cream on the back of my hand just to keep giving myself moisture as I work along. And then I'll pick up the next section. Add it to the underneath. Twist them together. Cross. And I see that rope. I got to the end of that flat twist or on scalp twist. And I'm just gonna do a regular twist out, making sure I keep these ends nice and moisturized. To get to the ends she's got great elasticity great curl pattern on those ends all i need to do is use a little curl defining cream turn it into a finger coil and let it do its thing so now you'll see me work in a directional pattern through the top once i finish there we'll come back and i'll show you how to just do a regular uh, twist out through the back okay See you in a so as you can see we have a directional twist out coming forward this direction i've used a little hairpin just to keep it out of her way so it's going to push everything forward on that nice elongated curl and then just kept following that directional so it wants to push this way and then here at her side part I came back so it will direct back away from her face and then I stopped with the actual on scalp so that this part you can leave in those twist outs and use it as an accent and this part will fall and fill in this uh, part here. So next step is for her to go sit under the hood dryer for about 30 minutes and we'll come back and start to play. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you learned a few things about some foundational styling with textured hair. Remember, don't be afraid to start your texture journey now. Small little steps. Today we went through detangling the hair, pre-stretching the hair, utilizing that natural texture and doing a twist out set to elongate her curl, but it's actually her natural texture. So there's so much versatility, so much fun that you can do with textured hair. So. Step outside of the box, challenge yourself, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.